she saw right away that Special Olympics athletes of all skill levels could compete in some form or fashion in tennis and made a really big push to expand that offering. Uh, and the partnership with USTA was an offshoot of that. Under Sherry's tutelage and guy, uh, leadership, we were really able to excel. And because of that, tennis is one of the, the biggest sports that we have right now. What the USTA did was create some adaptive equipment that we utilize on a daily basis now. Sherry um, really believed that the sport could be offered to every skill level of athlete that we have. We've had grants uh, given to us by USTA and we've had, of course, the adaptive equipment which has made um, it possible for any of our athletes um, to play tennis um, and continue on to a very high level. I think the thing that she does better than most is that she sees potential where other people see obstacles. Uh, a perfect example is an athlete named Jonathan Doring. Uh, Jonathan is a tennis player, uh, but this past summer he ended up being a, an athlete official at the Special Olympics World Summer Games in Los Angeles, and I believe he's only one of 20 to do so worldwide. I just love being around Sherry. I love to watch her engage the athletes. She knows most of them by name. She knows the volunteers. She knows the coaches. And she just absolutely loves what she does. And just to watch her passion and her excitement is so contagious. It happens every time I'm around Sherry. Our athletes are really dedicated to their training. And um, with tennis, we've been able to see them advance by moving from a skills perspective to really active volleying, um, having competitions with each other. And it's really just tremendous, some of the outcomes. Special Olympics has been great. It's given me an opportunity to make some friends and to learn and travel around the world. Sherry, to me, is a very special, special person to be in Special Olympics, Florida. Thank you, Special Olympics, Florida. And I think USTA really saw the potential in our athletes that, that Sherry sees as well. So I think this is a really strong partnership and a, and, and a fine example to show people moving forward. Sherry's one of those rare individuals that immediately, once we connected with her as executive director of Florida Special Olympics, we knew she was someone that we wanted to have a, a, a special relationship with going forward. We're excited because we've really grown tennis for Special Olympic athletes because of her willingness to work with us and do whatever it takes. And we have a personal goal, and I know Sherry believes in this, of having 5,000 children in Florida playing Special Olympic tennis in five years. And I know working together in our partnership and Sherry's great leadership skills, we're going to do that. So congratulations, Sherry, on this award. Her energy doesn't fluctuate. It's passion, passion every day. And I think someone that's, that's that committed is definitely deserving of any particular award in that particular sport. Sherry, I've known you for a very short period of time, but I just think the world of you. Everything about you is everything that's important in life. You care, you share, and you work so hard at what you believe in, and you've made all of us that much better. Thank you for everything you've done. You're very, very deserving of this award. I'm truly honored to be the one receiving this award, but it has been a team effort from the USTA individuals such as Linda Curtis, Nancy Horowitz, and Doug Booth, who have uh, put their energy and uh, passion into bringing tennis to Special Olympics, not just in recent, but throughout the years, um, as well as my team. So to the coaches, the volunteer officials, the volunteer day of event sponsors, uh, and all of those that uh, bring Special Olympics into the lives of our athletes every day, this this is truly an honor bestowed to us um, as a team and we really look forward to the future with USTA Florida and making a difference in the lives of the athletes and in our community. Thank you. Thank you.